Back in 2019, I had a confronting moment where, yet again, so this was not the first confronting moment, but yet again, I had to face saying no to something that I really wanted to do, that I really wanted to experience because I didn't have the money. Something about this time was different. I was well into my 30s and had been working at very well paying and stable jobs for over a decade. And I still had to face saying no to something as simple as a trip to Hawaii because I didn't have the money and I felt embarrassed and small and I felt really shameful and disappointed in myself. Maybe it was because I was being called forward by my partner, but for whatever reason, in this particular instance, I went home crying and I actually did the work. I sat down with a blank piece of paper, with my bank account app, with my budgeting app that I was not using, and I actually faced my debt, my spending habits, and most importantly, my beliefs. I took this process and I actually converted it into a course. And you can find that course in the description box on my website because I knew how much I needed something so practical and so tangible and yet still energetic and still spiritual. So I developed that and you can find it in the description and on my website. And since that time, my savings account has grown, my travel account has grown, I've started investing, my credit card got paid off and has remained paid off, and I have not had to transfer money from another account into my checking account in order to pay an automatic bill withdrawal. Now I am by no means perfect and I am still very much on my journey, but I have come a long way and I feel much more stable and confident when it comes to my money, my finances, and speaking about money. But this video isn't about that. This video is about the spiritual aspect of money. And being spiritual while being human. Because that's what this is about. We are spiritual, soulful, infinite soul beings, and we are having a human experience. Numerous times I've either received a reading or I have provided a reading to somebody else and their spirit team has shared something along the lines of remember who you are and connect with your soul and step into who you are. And my response has cheekily been, that's, that's great. And yes, I, I want all of that. I do. I really do. And I need to feel safe and secure and taken care of in this human existence, in this earthly plane where money is an exchange of energy and money helps to give us security. So yes, I want to be connected to my soul and I want to be here doing my soul journey and expanding and growing my soul. And I understand that there's going to be some discomfort in that. And I want the creature comforts that money provides. So allow me to feel supported in this human experience. I was raised hovering the poverty line. And although food was never a scarcity, I definitely didn't have all the creature comforts. And I 
don't want that experience for myself. I don't want that experience for my children or for my family. I want us to be able to grow and evolve. And to be honest, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, or even let's talk about the chakra system, that root chakra energy of feeling supported in our basic human needs is infinitely important as we move through our spiritual growth and evolution. So although money can't buy happiness, and it can't, that has to come from within. We have to feel content with who we are and how we are showing up in the world. So although money can't buy happiness, it can buy a lot of ease and remove a lot of challenges. It can shift our energy focus from survival into expansion. And that helps us to share our abilities, our gifts with those who need it. So I'm not saying that money is the solve or the cure or anything like that. But what I am saying is that I've definitely had some conversations with my spirit team as well as my client's spirit teams to say like, yes, and this experience is much easier <laughs> when we feel like we are being supported financially. So I don't wanna drive this all the way down to money because that's, that's not it, but there's a, a common theme in the spiritual community that you can't be spiritual and be financially stable or abundant. Or you can't be spiritual and want the creature comforts and desire the creature comforts. And what I want to share is we are human this lifetime. And part of being human is part of experiencing tangibles. This is a tangible plane and we get to experience that whether we have it or whether we don't have it. It's that experience of it that helps us to understand, yeah, money doesn't buy happiness and we can't fill voids of lineage work that needs to be handled and we can't fill ourselves up with overconsumption. And there is a video coming, coming about overconsumption for sure. And at the same time, we can be spiritual and we can have this human experience and desire the creature comforts. And we can desire more than just the creature comforts. That's okay. And so if you are on this spiritual journey, if you recognize that you are struggling with your beliefs around money, or you are struggling with how to take the leap into a spiritual business when you need to support and finance the basics of this human experience, have a conversation with your spirit team. Talk to them about how this human experience, yes, you recognize you are an infinite soul. Yes, you are light energy. Yes, you are one with all that is. And you are currently in a human body on planet Earth in this density and you need to feel secure and supported as you move through this experience and you take this information and you learn these lessons and you expand your soul through this human experience. And you need their assistance to help you feel that support and that security so that you can help others and you can step into your soul journey more fully. I've been following the work of Amanda Francis since about 2017 and I love how she speaks about money and really simply the basic concepts are that money is not inherently bad or good. Money is a neutral resource and with that good people 
do good things when they have money and when they feel comfortable with having money. My work is different than Amanda's work. And I invite you to learn in whatever way you need. That might be from me, the link's in the description. It might be from Amanda. It might be from some other teacher that you connect with. It might be your own personal journey, your own personal learnings and experiences. But please, money is not inherently bad. And you are not a bad person for desiring the comforts that money can provide. You are a spiritual soul having a human experience and you have full permission to have the enjoyment of this thing that we call money, this resource that we use as energetic exchange for creating the life that you desire. And more good people feeling comfortable and confident and having more money is really truly going to help us shift the direction of what we're doing, how we're doing it, how we interact, and how we treat each other, ourselves, and this planet. So stay tuned for another video that's going to be talking about consumption. I just had one about food consumption, but I alluded in that one that I will also be talking more about tangible consumption. I felt that this one was a good tie in as well. And if you have any additional comments or questions, the link in the description box is to take on your own time. So it's a like on demand course so you can take it on your own time. My intuitively wealthy for life training. So that is there for you if you choose to go that route no pressure. And if you want more information or coaching around yourself or your soul, you can also find the link in the description to book a session with me and I will chat with your soul team, your spirit team to have that conversation, that dialogue and help give you a little bit more tangible information. And then let me know in the comments section, your experience and your beliefs and your journey with money and especially how it relates to being a spiritual soul. So definitely let me know because we need to have these conversations in order to feel more comfortable having these conversations. Anyway, with that, all the information's in the description box and I will see you in the next video.